Hey guys, first of all, thank you for clicking on my video. So recently I just switched from using KDE Plasma desktop environment to using i3 window manager or i3wm and after uh, tweaking the configuration file for like uh, five days or so and this is finally uh, I'm finally done doing that I'm pretty much pretty much satisfied with this configuration now and of course I'm not done yet in I'm going to uh, modify uh, things here and there of course but uh, the layout will stay the same if I'm going to do any uh, tweaking editing then uh, it might be the wallpaper or themes or the color scheme or the window rule etc but the layout still look like this okay so uh, the the box the little box here uh, that you might see on the screen there that is actually not there that is uh, my second monitor so I'm having a dual monitor setup and I'm, I can't show you guys the whole uh, full screen because then the video will be uh, very small and you can't see nothing so I decided to make a small screen here to show you guys my second uh, monitor there alright so and and then I'm going I'm not going to uh, show you guys the configuration file in this video it will be my next video because uh, uh, showing uh, all those codes I made a lot lot of tweaking there so uh, showing them will maybe will take a lot of time and I think I'll make another video for that one all right so let's get right to this uh, this uh, show off <laughs> And the first thing that you're going to notice is, <laughs> of course, this dock, maybe the bottom dock. Yeah, if you're a hardcore uh, tiling window manager fan, you might um, be hating to see this thing because in a tiling window manager, uh, every pixel is very precious, right? But I just feel it's so blank without this dock, guys. And uh, every desktop environment that I'm using, I, I will always put in a dock there although I never use them actually I opened up my applications all using uh, sort cards and menu but I just feel blank without them so I just put it so don't hate me guys and then another thing I'm just going to show you guys my second monitor here uh, in the full screen by print screen it screenshot it so the screenshot in my uh, i3 window manager here i just press print screen and i will go into the screenshot mode this is uh this is called screenshot mode so i can press enter to do full screenshot uh, this is there is a uh, missed typo here and then to select a region i can press s and use my mouse to uh, select the region that i want to screenshot of course i'm going to full screenshot and uh, you can hear uh, camera camera click sound and that's uh, that's what I did with my command there command a script there so well uh, it also shows me uh, it also showed me a notification there showing uh, telling that the screenshot is on my home folder All right so oops so this is the screenshot and I'm recording using OBS and uh, I want to thank uh, someone from Manjaro forum uh, I forgot his name I will put it in the description below uh, he, he actually just made this uh, wallpaper for me and uh, if I remember correctly it's like RD design right he is in the forum he, he, he make this wallpaper for me and I'm very thankful for him that this is a very awesome wallpaper you guys and this is my conky script so he also uh, left on the space for me to put on my scripts there very thoughtful of him so uh, conky script there's nothing uh, good here to see just some stuff that I would like to use so see on my screen whenever I get and on the top alright I'm gonna just focus on the top here and I am using 
i3 blocks to show off my i3 status here and then you can see that there is a home here this is called uh, workspace so I can have I have like 10 workspaces I made with uh, I assigned uh, each name to them so what I'm doing with this is so for example uh, I have a I open a browser here and whenever I go into YouTube for example I'll go into YouTube and then the browser will be gone no it's not gone actually it is now on my first uh, uh, it moves to a workspace called YouTube on my second monitor so yeah you can see on the small screen there uh, my second screen uh, so my secondary monitor here uh, this is a YouTube uh, workspace so that's what I did so also I do it with film so for example I'll open up terminal here and I do a film for example uh, i3 config then it will be gone but it's not gone it's actually moved here I can press my uh, key binding to switch to that workspace and now I'm in that workspace and I can switch back to the home workspace and you can see that it's still open there and that's what I did so I assigned uh, some certain windows so for example uh, uh, there's also a record here on my secondary screen record workspaces to open up my OBS etc I'm not going to go into all those stuff you guys know what I'm uh, you guys know that stuff already I think and then uh, the menu the application menu that I'm using is this I'm using a Rofi so it's pretty nice right it's uh, uh, not that bad I think it's very beautiful here and I also made alt tabbing uh, possible with i3 with Rofi 2 as you can see I got three windows opened I can switch to them like this but of course it's <laughs> buggy but it's working on my <laughs> yeah it's buggy but you can see that my film is now gone I don't know why yeah it's buggy but uh, that's how I do it uh, yeah my film is just gone you guys oh my god <laughs> so on top I'm sewing this uh, for my bandwidth and this is my home uh, space lab home directory space lab and this is my root directory space lab this is my kernel that I'm running right now date time yeah guys it's it's two o'clock in the morning I have been doing something so holy shit my sleep sleeping schedule is so so bad right now and this is my username and this is the tray here all right and then what else do I want to show oh yeah uh, the key binding that I'm using in the uh, i3 WM I'm just going to open um, <coughs> screen key for you guys to see so uh, uh, the key binding that I'm using is pretty simple I'm using super D to open terminal super F for, for file manager and uh, this is a depth uh, depth layout and I can switch them to sorry something wrong here actually I forgot that wait a minute guys E. All right. 
right so I I don't know how it's turned <laughs> to tap sorry for that so uh, I'm using i3 gaps view like this so there is a gaps and if I open up another terminal uh, and I can move them around like this like this but they're all uh, there's a gap here as you can see it's this i3, i3 gaps and maybe the next thing I'm going to change is this opacity guys <laughs> it's weird because I made the inactive space to be op uh, to be very uh, to be transparent and not the uh, active per space and another thing is uh, the key binding that I'm using I'm not going to learn new key bindings uh, I hate learning new new keys uh, sorry cards so I'm making it looks like this so all F4 to close and uh, super and grave to open up a menu and alt tab to of course open like this like I showed you before and to open up applications I'm using mod key and for windows switching and stuff I'm using tab tab up tab down to switch between windows our container they call it container here and to to switch uh, to move it around I'm using alt shift and arrow key or KJ uh, or the film key and I also switch the film key to something like film because they are not using this H and they are using it like starting from J so uh, if you are using film a lot then you will be very uh, very uh, very uh, uh, various uh, you will you will rather use the film key because you're used to pin right and then uh, like all the windows stuff a uh, window size uh, moving and stuff I'm using all key but for everything else I'm using mod a super key is the mod and the windows placement as I said before and I assign all those uh, workspace on the monitor that I have just like that you guys I think I'm done so this is pretty much it I will uh, I will continue this to another video showing you guys how did I did this how did I make this stuff and thank you for watching guys I uh, please like this video if you like it and subscribe to me if you want more videos from me and I will see you guys on next video and have a nice day guys